Hello everyone, my name is Lorraine. I was diagnosed in 2016 with breast cancer and I have endured so many ups and downs during my journey. I was blessed to have the support of family and friends, my therapist, and my church. My biggest support came from God, of course, because if it wasn't for Him, I would not be here. In the beginning, before I had any surgeries or my chemo, I had a dream. I was walking through my school gym. There was a little child there playing basketball, and that child called out my name. I turned to look at her, and she walked up to me, and she smiled at me. She said to me, you should tell your story. She then turned around and ran off to play ball. At that time, I was still going through so many emotions, still not believing I would ever be a survivor. Through it all, I took lots of pictures and videos, but sadly and unexpectedly, I had a horrible mistake and deleted all of them. Oh, that really, really hurt my feelings so bad. And it took me some time to get over losing all of my pictures. But then the good Lord reminded me that I should tell my story. So even though I may not be fully ready to speak about my journey, I feel that my story needs to be told. I only hope that my story inspires and uplifts someone. My name is Lorraine, and this is my breast cancer story. Hello, everyone. My name is Lorraine. How are you doing today? Um, first of all, I want to say um, I'm very, very nervous to tell my story. I am very nervous to tell my story, but I feel that now is the time to just just um just i don't know just walk up to it it's a fear of mine of talking about it but i feel like now is is the, is the time that i just need to just go ahead and get it get it over get it done and just tell everyone my story um heads up i will get emotional um it's a thing that uh, with, with me that i um it's hard for me to talk about it. I get very, very emotional when I talk about it, um, even now. And I've had breast cancer. Um, I was diagnosed with breast cancer in 2016. So even now, I still get emotional with it. And I was told that maybe it's just because I'm no longer crying for myself, but I'm crying for others that's going through it. And I said, well, you know what? That makes sense. If I'm crying because everyone else is going through it and I know how hard it is, um, Maybe that's why I, I I have very I have so much emotion when it comes to that now. So I just wanted y'all to give y'all the heads up. Um, there will be times where I will just start crying because um, I'm very still very emotional about it. Um, one other thing that I wanted to talk about. Um, my main goal is to uplift and inspire. Um, someone else is going through it. Um, not not just someone else is going through it, but inspire someone else that knows somebody that's going through it and hopefully they will take um my inspiration and, and and inspire them to keep going inspire them to keep moving and um pray and um and hope for them so that's my my goal is to inspire and to uplift someone um another thing um the reason why i decided to name my my um YouTube channel, Stay Uplifted Dear, because there is a story behind that. Um, I don't know whether or not to tell you guys now or to tell you later. Hmm. I'll tell you now. So, the reason why I decided to name it that, uh, Stay Uplifted Dear, is because when I was going through breast cancer, my sister um, would always call me and check on me to see how I were doing. And she was going through... Uh, a lot of health problems as well um she uh, had a lung disease that she was dealing with and it gotten real bad at the at the last she it's gotten real real bad and she was still calling me even from the hospital she would call me and check on me to see how i was doing and to this day i really really appreciate her calling me even when she was down and hurting and her health was deteriorating she still had the energy to pick up the phone and call me and see how I was doing. Um, when she would end the phone call, 
she will tell me, stay up left it. That was her, that was her ending. It wasn't bye, it wasn't see you later, it was stay up left it. And because of that, that's the reason why I decided to name, um, that's the reason why I decided to name, um, my YouTube channel, Stay Uplifted. It's dedicated to her, my sister. Um, my sister passed away in 2017. 2017, she passed away. So, I want to dedicate that. And I will talk more about that. Is the reason why I decided to name that after her. But, um, for right now, I'm just going to leave it at that. Please comment, give me a big thumbs up, and subscribe. And um, don't forget to click the notification button. That way you'll be first-hand notified of all videos that I upload. Um, I try to upload at least every Monday or every Tuesday. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. So I see you guys later. And um, remember, stay uplifted there. This little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine